Hi, welcome to Lo-Fi Music Theory. It ain't fancy, just effective. Should you learn music theory? Short answer, yes. I'll give a deeper analysis of that, but first I want to say thank you for clicking on this video. I, I call this Lo-Fi because I'm just filming this on my phone with no enhancement, so it's not fancy. But if you don't mind turning up your volume, you'll find a well-organized course on music theory broken up into di digestible little chunks starting with very basic beginner and up to uh, in intermediate level. And I'm not charging anything, but if you find value in this, I'd appreciate if you subscribe and share and sh check out the links to my sites. Okay, should you learn music theory? I think this question comes up so often because of the unique nature of the, the music business. In most lines of work, whether it's blue collar or white collar, you're expected to go to certain schools and take certain classes and graduate with some kind of degree or credential which shows that you're qualified to, to work in that field. But in music, that's, that's not the case. Anyone can play music, put it out in the world, and try to make a profit on it, which is great. And there's an enormous spectrum of uh, styles and approaches and, and backgrounds in the people who do it and a lot of variation in the results that they get. So at one end, you'll see highly uh, educated and skilled musicians who, who may struggle to be heard. And at the other end, uh, untrained musicians who may not even be very good uh, are very successful. And there, there's everything in the middle. So you ask yourself, well, how important is this stuff? Do I even need to know theory? So the short answer to that question would be no, you don't have to know theory. And even, even someone like myself with a bias can acknowledge that because of the reason that I just said. But I don't think it's productive to take such a black and white uh, approach to it. It's, it's not a yes or no. I think the best way to answer the question is to personalize it and ask yourself, are you achieving the goals you want with the skills you have? And if the answer is yes, and you're content, then you're good to go. Great, you know, go do your thing. But if the answer is no, then obviously you need to uh, educate yourself and, and learn some some new skills. And here's where people run into uh, a problem. <laughs> it seems like in our culture there's this negative stigma against education and knowledge, and I think that's very unfortunate. But somewhere along the way, it became uncool to know what you're doing. Uh, and I, I hear this manifest in a few arguments against music theory, but it, they sum up as uh, something like this. People will say, if you learn music theory, it ruins your creativity because you, you become confined to, to the rules. So I have several responses to that. Uh, the first would be, um, I've never heard a trained musician say that, and I've never met a trained musician who regretted getting their training. Um, if so if an untrained musician says that, to me that's like if a blind person says they're better off being blind uh, to all of us. And I would say, well, if, if you're happy with your life, that's great. I'm not going to crap on that. But you can't say that you're better off because you don't know what you're missing. You haven't seen. So if you're ignorant of something, how can you know that you're better uh, than someone who's got the knowledge. You don't know how much better off you could be if you learned what the other people have, have, have learned. Now, the next part of that is um, that you have to learn the rules, and but then the rules kill your creativity. Okay, I've encountered this uh, a few times myself in my, my own experience where theory is presented as, as rules, and that's never fun. Um... And it, I think that actually fails. I think as soon as you call something a rule, you always find exceptions. So then it's it's clearly not a rule. And as a student, that, that can drive you crazy. So I shift the, the thinking on that. There, there aren't rules. Art shouldn't have rules. Art is about uh, expression. So, yeah, don't put rules on that. But there are guidelines. And things become guidelines because they work. And musicians for hundreds of years have followed the same guidelines because they've been proven to work really well. So I think if you're serious about music and being the best you can be, you owe it to yourself to to learn those those guidelines and why they work. And there's no rule that says you always have to use them, but at least you know what they are. And uh, you know, coming around to theory killing your creativity, 
Uh, from my own experience, I know that my, my creativity has only ex exploded the more that I've learned about theory. And if your only technique is uh, trial and error and, and luck, you're not going to be very effective for very long, unless you're some kind of prodigy, and m most of us aren't. So arm yourself with as many skills and tools as possible, and the funny thing happens, the more you learn, the more creative you become. So if you decide to cross that threshold out of ignorance into knowledge and, and you start learning this stuff, the next uh, thing that tends to come up is people say, oh my gosh, this is so hard, I'll never learn it, and how much do I need to, to know? And uh, I've been there myself many times. Um, <laughs> you know, once you start learning, you realize the enormity of the subject and how little you know, and it definitely feels overwhelming. Uh, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. That's just part of the, of the learning process. Uh, I, I think this is sum up, summed up best as uh, music is a lot like math. Is math hard? Well, it depends on what level of math you're, you're at. Uh, I think most of us would agree quantum physics is pretty hard, but most of us don't really need to know quantum physics. Conversely, the elementary math we learned uh, when we were very young is not very hard. And for most of us, that's all we need to buy what we need to buy and balance our budgets and just function in life. Well, music theory is the same way. You can spend a lifetime trying to master it, and you never will. But most of us will get by with just the the basics, and the basics are not are not that hard. Um, this was illustrated to me when uh, in college, uh, and I went to a, a big name music school. You would certainly know the name of, and um, you know in the academic world. Uh, I mean, new concepts come at you constantly, very advanced things. You definitely get overwhelmed. And at the same time, you're observing the music business you want to work in and seeing people probably younger than you and you think less talented becoming very famous. And you think, well, do I even need to know all this stuff? And one day in a class, this, this issue came up and um, I had a teacher, a uh, great teacher. His name was Charlie Chapman. He's since passed, but he was, he was awesome. And he really illustrated... Uh, this well. He was very honest. He said, guys, I get what you're going through. And honestly, no, you don't need to know every advanced concept. If you just learn everything up to all the modes of the major scale and really understand that, it'll get you through 90% of any musical situations you will ever encounter. I appreciate you said that, and uh, I've, I've definitely t taken that to heart and seen that to be true uh, in, in my own years since, since college. And that's how far I'm, I'm taking this course. And that ties into the third thing that is said a lot, um, which is, uh, well, famous person X doesn't know theory. Why, why should I learn it? And I've definitely asked myself that question many times and heard that passed around. And what I've come to realize is, uh, first of all, comparing yourself to others is rarely productive. Um, you, you have no idea where they're coming from and what their story is and what their journey has been. And um, you, you, that person you compare yourself to, they might just be, be brilliant. And um, you, I know when I was starting out in music and getting serious, and a lot of my heroes were not trained, and I thought, well, do I need to be trained? But I also began to realize that I was not uh, especially talented. I could not get by on my talent alone. So I figured if I want to be in this business, I'd better learn uh, as much as I can and make up for what I don't have in talent. And I think a lot of people, a lot of people realize that, or they maybe they should. So there is that. And then the next thing would be, unless that person that you're comparing yourself to is is genuinely doing everything on their own, they write their music in their bedroom with no help. They're they're getting help. And the more famous they are, the more help that they're they're getting. Um, think about by the time you hear that new artist, their their latest song or see them on stage, there's been a, a large team, maybe even a small army of people helping them get their music out. So producers, uh, engineers, songwriters, composers, session musicians, band members, others, and probably leaving out um, have all been involved in the process to 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 help them and I'll make a confident assumption that most if not all of them know music theory that's how they're good at their job and are able to get those big gigs with those big name artists 
And in my own experience, and I'm not anyone famous, I haven't done big gigs, but I've done session work and I've written for TV and film. And and uh, when I had those jobs, I didn't have the luxury of showing up and saying, well, I, I hope I get inspired or let's just try things out until it works. It, it doesn't work that way. You've got to show up and deliver quickly um, in one or two takes and uh, and that's that. And that doesn't happen with luck. When I worked for the TV and film production company, a lot of times we get uh, an, as an assignment from uh, an employer or somebody, say, we need a song that sounds like this, and they give us a reference song. And we had to analyze that song uh, and deconstruct it, so to speak, and then write a new song. So um, coming in cold, never hearing it, and uh, you've got to figure out the rhythm, the time signature, the key, the melody, um, and everything else going into it, and then write your own song that is similar but still different. And uh, you, you, know, you do that quickly. <laughs> so that takes skill and training to be doing something like that. And um, it's pretty awesome to know that you can write a song like that. Yeah, 30 minutes from now, if I want to, I can sit down and write a piece of music because I know how to use those musical tools. It's it's a very liberating feeling. So I don't want to ramble too much, but in summary, do you uh, do you need to know music theory? You don't have to, but should you learn it? You need to figure that out for yourself, but it can't hurt you and it'll probably help you. Thanks for watching.